Hey there, Chad Bonger here for High University Libraries. If you're doing a pest analysis, analyzing a, a environment's political, economic, social, and technological trends, you'll definitely want to check out Passport GMED. Passport GMED will offer a kind of a macroeconomic level, a really broad kind of bird's eye view of, of the market in those particular areas in order to give you a good uh, analysis for your pest analysis. So here's how you find information that you need in Passport GMED. So when doing a pest analysis, Passport GMED does have some really good general information that you can use to address your political, economic, social environment, and demographics, and the technological environment when doing your pest analysis to kind of analyze your macro environmental opportunities and threats. Now these may not necessarily be industry specific. These may just cover general trends, but it's a good place to get started on this kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is go under countries and consumers. And there's a couple places to look in here. One is this economy, finance, and trade area. And once this page opens, if you go down and look at these, um, uh, this country briefing here, and we'll just choose U.S. And so if we're looking at the overall um, uh, home improvement market, it might be a good idea to look at the risk and vulnerabilities of the U.S. economy, just to kind of get a general idea for the economic stuff. So this is actually geared more towards people who are going to invest in another country, but it does give you some... Uh, risk information, things like that. Um, talk about uh, things like um, uh, the, the working population, things like that, energy policy, socio-political -po risk, things like that. So all kinds of information you can use in looking at your, your pest analysis there. I want to also go back to countries and consumers. And we found the risk and vulnerabilities under economy, finance, and trade. I want to go under income and expenditure here because what might affect someone's buying home improvement products or a product in related industry is obviously their 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 home or their um, their income level. So if we go under country briefings here once again choose USA and click go here this will bring up a different report for us. Um, this gives us income and expenditure USA and so here we have lots of information here that talks about income expenditure disposable income savings rate, things like that. So all kinds of really good information, particularly when you're looking at, you know, analyzing a, a, um, a particular industry and you're trying to get, you know, the economic environment of that industry. This gives you an overall economic environment, but still would be a great place to start for that kind of, kind of data there. Finally, up at the top, one other place to look under countries and consumers. Uh, these consumer trends and lifestyles is a good place to look for some pest analysis information. If you go under uh, your consumer lifestyles here, and once again, we'll check, check USA, uh, click go. This gives you kind of an overall analysis of the consumer environment here. So you have all kinds of stuff over here on the left-hand side that addresses things like eating habits, work habits, things like that. Uh, it might be a good idea to go down and look at, uh, here's your DIY and gardening habits, for example, for your um, your um, home improvement uh, warehouses and things like that, if that was your industry. If you go down, you can see there's other things you might want to look at. Uh, as example, uh, financial habits, uh, attitudes towards payment, things like that. So those are all going to reflect, you know, uh, how people are, are are purchasing items, things like that. So so that's three places. Under countries and consumers, we did the consumer trends and lifestyles here. We did the, uh, the risks and vulnerabilities here. And we did the income and expenditure here to look at um, uh, information that can be used for your pest analysis uh, of your industry. Hopefully this helps you give you some good information for your pest analysis. If you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We'd be glad to help you any way I can. Take care and have a great day.